In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. People are mad. They do dress differently. An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah. Son, King yeah. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, hold your fruit. fruit. Nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest needs to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? This is tribal-like, but it is actually people. An enunciation of gratitude I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. <clears throat> What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. We got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. Yeah. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. By the speech. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. Who can blame them? Yeah, no one can blame them. Uh. I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. That's true. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. Yep. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Yeah. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. I was going to say, did not work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. That happens. So 
So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. That's... So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. That's good. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. I'll try. Uh. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. Awesome. How did she survive? Well, that's his story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. It could happen. <laughs> You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. I know I'd rather actually not listen to all this, but to be honest, I just want to get it over with and learn everything of this game. So it was hard to take me down, but not dangerous. So long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. Oh. So what's making it happen? I believe it. And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. <laughs> yeah, they won. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. That's true. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire. Wow. Like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Alright. It looks like I could still talk about the derangements, but let's talk about Who are the Osseral? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. Warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Mm. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. That's good. Uh, do I have to talk about the Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't all went up, so it was hard to, but then the now went a few more years, if that wasn't bad enough. Like the sawtooth? Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Uh. I've never seen armor like yours before. Oh, uh, boy. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. 
Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Yep. And how about Olin? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. Hmm. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. All right. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. Well, that was interesting. Uh. Well, let's see, uh, I guess I now go to where I need to go. Let's see, I'm right here. I guess I go to there. Simple as enough. All right, uh, I'll see you, Teresa, in a bit. Time for me to get to my destination. Hello, hey, Erin, bye, Erin. All right. Oh God, I'm not gonna enjoy this. But it's the only way we could actually be done playing this game. Uh, let's see, I guess I go to. Uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm sorry, I'm late. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you. All right. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, uh. light its flame. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be the greatest. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. Yes, all for us, because I don't know who his mother is. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky. Till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. Meanwhile, near the lakes, we see a Rapunzel singing a song. That is all the left again. Alright, uh Can I say hi to the uh Hello, Mother Tree. Now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. All right. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Yeah. Because uh, I imagine uh... so. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? 
or nowhere. I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers, real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. Uh, I guess it. Uh, us. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to rejoin the tribe. That's good. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think rather it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13 who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, uh, March Cheese or Ross? Uh, what about Ross? What about Ross? Why was he made an outcast? Yeah. So, he never told you? No. He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy, but Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? <laughs> what else is new? All right, I'm actually. What about Ross? Oh God. Why was he made an up? So he said he swore. Yes. What else is new? Matronets. Ross told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. Mm. But a high matriarch is a great grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight the high matriarchs, most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Alright, well, that covers everything. Uh, hopefully. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. I like her. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's that guy. Hello. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in Alma, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Who is the sun king you speak for? Oh. His luminance of eye More talking. is the 14th king of the radiant line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. <sighs> Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. Uh. Who are you, the sun priest? Yeah. I am the Reverend Tirid, 
The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. Uh -huh. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield. A good man. He yeah, really is. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. True. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us. Though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Alright. Medellin, White Noir, the Sun. If your Sun Kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the Sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Sun. <coughs> Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the son to choose a queen. <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The son is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well... Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman, and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. You're pushing it. You're pushing it. <laughs> okay. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Like this guy. Uh, so far as I know, uh, when it comes to it, I can tell that this day is going to be mostly. Oh, thank you. When it comes to it, it's all going to be talking to people, especially this guy. Aaron told you. Yep. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I really don't want for crowds. Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there. The metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bore in the mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Fair enough. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. 
I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Alright. What are you doing here, Owen? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. In my personal perspective, because his is yellow and is active, and mine is bluish, pinkish, whatever it is, I think, in reality, he is up to something. Then that's my personal opinion, and I bet it's gonna be actually gonna affect tomorrow. So until then. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should. Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. I think he was trying to hint me of actually prepare to, uh, for the worse. So. Enter the home hot lounge. Uh, I'm guessing it's over there. I'm gonna be sleeping with a bunch of people. Ooh. Beating drums. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, well, I can now finally go to bed. Can I stop playing? Yep, everyone's having a party of their lives. Hello, oh boy, how you doing? I, I've been good. I, I promise. <laughs> she thinks I'm actually gonna do something bad. Ooh. Alright, well, into the lounge. Who am I going to be greeted with? Ah. Uh. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're going to get. <sighs> All right, Rash. Oh, this is the bed house. With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. That's best. I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. She's the one that saved me. <laughs> All right. I entered the lounge. Why does it what? Why does it tell? Oh no! All right, do I have to? Do I have to confront him? I don't confront Bass. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? <sighs> All right, let's do the passionate thing. No put. Your fight, outcast. Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true man? All right, act interactions. I can interact with her. Are you gonna let Bob talk to you talking with the outsiders? Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, Outcast. Mm -hmm. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. 
What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Shee-shee. <laughs> Alright, um... Gee, I wonder where I'm gonna be sleeping. Nice job handling Boss. <laughs> that should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Ed. Ah. Do I want to talk to him? All the others seemed a bit, uh... Run across her. Run across her. Leave me alone. I just want to get some rust. All right, time to sleep if I can. Hold on, before I sleep. It's her. It's her. Yeah, I'm gonna be sleeping right next to you. Will I be able to sleep though? So, your first day in mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora lodge before. You're not very private. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yeah, I'm playing the most passive route. It's not that I don't have a harsh route. It's just I'm very passive. I just... I have an evil side. But you know what? That's how I use I use my words. Oh, next day. Oh, God. Oh, God damn. I haven't eaten yet. Ugh. You know what? The next time I get a campfire, that's when I'm going to stop for now. Because this looks grand. Look at us. Look at all. Yep, yeah, ladies first. Well, at least he's nice enough to actually give us a crap. Do I even play this? Oh. <laughs> oh god, it's that guy. God. Take as much of these as I can. Oh, okay. I have to just. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Ah, I see how it is.
Alright. Alright. Yep, definitely gotta catch up. Alright, where'd they go? Gotta catch up. Yep, gotta catch up. I know, gotta catch up. Yeah, well. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's the way to get forward now. I lack some moving. I'm going, I'm going! Shut up, I'm trying this much as part. Come on, run! I don't know if I'm... Yep. Ah, shit. Um... Yeah, my eyes represents my health. Oh god, okay. Did <laughs> I just freaking did that? Okay. Alright. I can't tell if it's time limit or anything. But Yeah, I'm running. This is why I hate time travel, time time events. Come on, keep running, run, 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 run. I can't tell if I'm winning or losing, but as far as I know, I have to win this. Yep. All right. Must be perfect. I get it. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh, cutting. Run, keep running. Keep running, keep running. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving. 
Oh no. Never. Oh no. But she is a brave now. Oh, thank God. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! Ah! Holy shit. Oh my god. Kill the defilers. All right, they're dead. It's me against them, isn't it? No witnesses, no survivors. Oh god. Don't kill yourself. That arrow has to hit her. For all mother. Oh no, there's more. Coming. How many are there? Send while we chance. Oh no. Oh no.
Who the heck is this? Oh, wait, I'm here. I forgot I was here. Oh, God. Turn to the face of the sun. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, Ross. Kill him. Beat him. Beat his ass, Ross. Oh, no. Ross. Ross. Oh, he must be like one of the Sun King 13's uh, exiled. But he also has those little thingies. Oh, God. Ross. 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 Come on. Beat him. Beat him, Ross. Beat him, Ross. Eloy, get up. Eloy, get up. Help. Uh oh <gasps> no 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 I burn it all then to your task as you command Oh no Hello. Hello. She's remembering, and while well, they're trying to save her. Oh. She's been near her mother? Where's your little thing? I need my focus. No. Where's your focus? Oh. It That's that's why is no one here? That's where am I? That's that's you just talking. That's just you talking. They definitely have your focus. They You're in, in, in a cave and you're getting your hopes up that he's alive. Find your focus. If only I had a focus to find my focus. <laughs> 